What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix some of your login issues. Now this is a follow up to one of my videos where I showed you guys how to create a login and register page. Now I know that a lot of you guys were having issues, especially on the login page. So I'm going to go ahead and try to resolve some of those issues for you guys. So let's go ahead and begin. So I know that one of the issues that you guys were having is whenever someone tries to log in and they, they put in the wrong password or username and they click login, they were getting redirected to the uh, login area, which, is, which isn't what we want. So we're going to actually disable the WP login area. So then they go back to our login page. And then the other issue that I believe you guys were having is, um, let's see here, is the forgot password. So whenever someone clicks on forgot password, it goes to your default forgot password for WordPress. So we want to go ahead and change that to maybe a forgot um, password area on your website, not on the WordPress dashboard, or sorry, not on the WordPress backend. So we're going to go ahead and fix that issue there. And then the other issue that we're going to fix here, let me go ahead and click admin. I think whenever you log in correctly, it sends you to the right page as long as you have the, the redirection set up. So we do. So I know that in the last video, I did show you guys how to do that. But just in case you guys don't know, let me go ahead and go over that first. So go to your dashboard and then go into, um, go into templates. Now, before we go ahead and start adding some plugins and maybe start adding some code, I would recommend you guys back up your website just in case um, things do break. That does tend to happen sometimes, especially since maybe this video is, maybe you're watching this video a year or two years from now and um, some things haven't been updated. So you may want to back up your website. Even, even if you're just watching this video, just back up your website just in case. Um, I wouldn't want you, I wouldn't want to be the reason why you guys crash your website. Um, but I've tested this out and I haven't had any issues. So you guys probably shouldn't ha have either, but always I would recommend to back up your website. Use um, Updraft, that's what I always use to back up my website. I do have a video on that somewhere on my channel. You guys can go ahead and check that out. Now let's just go ahead and begin here. So as I was, as I was going here, I was going to show you guys how to add a redirection to your login page which I'm sure a lot of you guys may already know. So just go ahead and go to your templates and click um, lo click edit on your login template. And then um, go into, go ahead and click on your login area here. Go to login form options and make sure that you have this enabled and you have this to redirect to a specific page that you may want. I did cover this in the last video, so you guys already should have, you guys already should know how to do this. But just in case I wanted to show you guys that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and disable our uh, default WP login area. So what you need to do here is go to your appearance and then go to theme editor. And then go into theme functions. Now, if you don't have this in your theme editor, you're going to have to go into your cPanel and go into file manager and find function.php and go ahead and just click edit. And you're going to want to add a, a code right at the bottom, a PHP code. Um, don't worry, we're not writing anything. We're just going to paste it in and it's going to do all the work for us. And I'll have this code down in the description so you guys can copy this. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here. Now, as you can tell, it's going to tell us that it's going to disable our WP login. So go ahead and click update. Now you do want to make sure that your, um, that your login page is called login. So for me, whenever someone goes to my website, it's mywebsite.com slash login. If you have a different um, login link, you're going to want to change that in here. Okay, maybe yours is a uh, member slash login. So you're going to add that in in between this area here. Okay, you just want to just want to keep that in mind. But if you're if, but if yours is already, um, you know, mywebsite.com slash login, you're, you'll be fine. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know. And then after that, make sure you click update. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just see how it's working. So let's go ahead and click on log out. And let's see if that fixes that issue here. So let's go ahead and just add a random login information here. Now this is obviously wrong. So when I click login, it should take me right back here. 
and there we go. So it's now it's not taking me to the default WP login area. It's taking me back here and it's letting me know that that my username um, was wrong or my password was wrong. So now that we now that now we have that fixed. Now let's go ahead and try to log in here and make sure that my redirection here is still working. Because that might be an issue that you may be having. Okay, there we go. So that's taking us back to my redirection. So that's working perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and click log in here. Now we're going to go ahead and click on forget password. Now that's not working anymore. Now we obviously we want people to be able to um, reset their password. So the next thing that we have to do is download a plugin. So then we can set up our forgot password. So go ahead and just go ahead and log in here. I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. All right, perfect. Now we're going to go into our dashboard here. And then we're going to go into our plugin area. And I wouldn't worry about this one here. Okay, now go ahead and click on add new. And we're going to want to go ahead and install this plugin here. It's called front end reset password. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in here. I'll have that down in the description so you guys can grab that as well. And we're going to go ahead and use this plugin here. So go ahead and install it. And then activate it. Now before we go into the settings, we have to go ahead and create the page for our password reset. So go ahead and go into pages. And then go into add new. And we're going to call this password reset. And then I'm going to go ahead and click publish. Now we're going to come back to this because we have to add a short code in here. Very important that we add the short code. I'm going to go ahead and leave this. And then I'm going to go into my settings here. And you're going to click on right at the bottom here, front end reset password. And we're going to go ahead and choose our reset password. Go ahead and choose that page. Grab the short code here. Really important. Go ahead and click on save changes. Now you can adjust the colors if that's something that you wanted to do for the background. Now we're going to go into pages here. And you can probably even customize this with um, Elementor. So you guys will be fine. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Maybe not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add my short code in here. And then now I'm going to go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go to log out. And I'm going to go to log in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on forgot password. And there we have it. Now people can go ahead and uh, reset their password. And it's all within our um, website here. And it's not going through our back end or any of any any or any of that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I did want to go over this this issue if you guys are having this issue. Um, just in case, let's say someone's creating a new a new account here, user. I think let me just spell that correctly. User, user area here. And then I'm going to put a random password to test. Now, as you can tell, it doesn't really look like I'm logged in, right? Hard to refresh this maybe, but no, it doesn't. So basically, whenever someone registers, they have to re-log in. So what I would do, just in case you're having this issue, is um, redirect people to a page that tells them that they have to re-log in, or you can redirect them to the login page. It's just something that I would probably do instead. And uh, let me go ahead and actually try that one. So I called it user, I believe, user 101. And then I called it test was the login, I believe. And there we have it. Now we're logged in as that user that I created. Now what I would do instead, let me go ahead and log into my account, is I would go into my dashboard and let me go ahead and edit the the register page. So I'm going to go to my templates and I'm going to go to register and I'm going to edit that real quick. And then I'm going to add a redirection here. So it's going to be, I think it's one of these here. Where is it? Here we go. This one here. And we can notify them by email as well. 
So that's always very useful. And I think you can customize your email right here, I believe, somewhere around here. But anyway, so uh, what, what you're going to do, it well, basically just sends them a, a default email that they registered to your website. All right. So I would go ahead and send people here to the login page. That's what I'm going to do instead. And I'm going to click update. Then I'm going to click on log out. And then I'm going to go ahead and test this again. And there we have it. So now it's going to take us to our login page and we can go ahead and log in and they'll probably get an email. It would probably be better, honestly, if um, they get into a, a, another page that tell them that they have to re-log in. Um, as far as I know, that's there isn't there isn't a, a fix for that where it just automatically logs them in. Um, but I'm sure you guys can get around with it by just having people go to a different page and then telling them that telling them to check their email and then log in again. That shouldn't be a problem there. But at least I resolved those other issues. So um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Honestly, this video was just for those people that were having issues. And that's basically it. So I hope honestly, I really hope this helped you guys out. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys are having any more issues. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.